intersection and the van just died. Everything was flashing again with the lights and I was like, that's weird, I thought this was fixed. Our office is now closed. Can you like a copy of your BC driving record? Just said wait Our times an hour. guy from Moncore, he's going to be here in about half an hour or so, so that's, uh, that's better. I wish I had light or something I could put on the back, like now I want an actual strobe kit for the back, but like a, you know, you'd have road flares, I don't have anything like that, and I can't put my hazards on. Yeah, happy to see him. So there he is towing the van to Walmart. Um, and I gotta walk there. Because of COVID, I can't ride in the truck with him. And uh, yeah. I think it's about two clicks. Anyway. I wish I could just sit in the van and ride over there. I'm taking the fastest route, so I'm walking straight along the highway on this side. <sighs> this has been quite a day, although I really liked my drive up here today. That felt so good after everything, and I thought I was through all this. I thought it was fine, because I thought I fixed it, and everything was operating just perfectly all the way to here, just started acting up right there on that strip. And I got to the intersection and I thought, okay, I'll turn it off and then turn it back on again. So I put it into park, turned it off. I went to turn it back on and boom, it was out. It wouldn't do anything. Just all that glitchy stuff you saw. van life you know I guess uh, I had to be christened at one point in time I just got a call back or a text back from Josh and Rachel they're just gonna meet me here at the adventure center and give me a drive over there so uh, that's fantastic thank you Josh and Rachel I really appreciate it. Just more than anything, just having another person to hang out with and, and vent, vent this too. <sighs> Josh and Rachel, I'm gonna have to do a tour of these guys' van. They live in a beautiful, beautiful Sprinter van and they built it themselves. It's really good. Um, I really like their van. I just wish I had a van that was working. Is it gonna die? Is it gonna break down? Is this it? Is this like after all the effort I put into it? I don't know. These thoughts go through my head and I'm like, it's a thin line that you're on. You're kind of like, you know, you're one step closer to being completely homeless, being living in a van, because it's your car, it's your house, it's everything. So if it gets screwed up, ooh, you know, and I don't have a backup plan for this kind of thing right now because 
I just, I'm not in a position to it. I would be in a position to it, but this whole COVID pandemic just screwed up all my plans for this van life thing. And since it started, I've just been like scraping by and trying to clean up stuff in my life and deal with things and cope and uh, yeah. And I don't know, finish building the van. Maybe I made some bad choices. I'm smart with some things, but I'm not that smart. But I'm pretty smart. <laughs> uh, it's the school of life. Golly. I hope the pictures get it. I, this is quite a moment and it's dark outside. So I'm using the best lens that I got for this and hopefully it's grabbing everything. <sighs> so anyway, that's the Adventure Center in Squamish. So. If you come to Squamish and you want to know anything about the local area, the sporting stuff you can do outside, whether it be climbing, hiking, camping, all that sort of stuff, this is an awesome place to come and touch down. They got a huge parking lot, of course. And they got the rope runner course, which you can get up there and play on. A friend of mine built that or was helped to build that. And then in there, you can get all the information you need to plan your adventures in Squamish, Whistler, Pemberton. I think they cover Lillooet as well, but you know, basically the sea to sky. And uh, yeah, a little cafe in there. I used to actually go in there and uh, sit at the cafe and work when I lived right up the hill, up there. I would come down here with my computer and I'd work on the yoga studios from here because it was just a different environment. It was kind of quiet. Ah, oh, yeah, here I am. Come on, you guys, where are you? Now I'm anxious because I'm sitting waiting. Where are these guys? Oh, here they are. There they are! Oh, sweet! Ride? Yeah, I would love a ride. <laughs> yeah. That'd be fantastic. Oh, you're giving me the front row seat? Yeah. Oh, man. All right, thank you. Thank you, Rachel. No problem. No problem. Thank you, Josh. <laughs> what happened? Oh, frick, man. I'll tell you all about it. Okay. But the, it just... Yeah. Josh is here. You just pointed out that there's a little bit of corrosion right around this terminal. And the interesting thing is my Victron app is reading this battery at 10 volts right now. And when I put my terminal leads on here and here, I'm getting 12.85 back in business you guys um, Josh here in his Sprinter van he used to work for BMW so he's a, had a lot of experience with BMW cars that have um, a lot of electrical issues turns out all it was is the post on my battery had a bit of corrosion on it between it and the terminal like the terminal connector and uh, So he just wants me to rev my engine for a little bit. He's, he wants to listen to the alternator, see if it's whining. I think it's fine. Sounds fine. Yeah. I gotta clean all this up. I'm gonna go have a shower once I do that because now the van is operating again. Oh my God, I'm so happy. And these guys gave me a ride here, which was great. So I did have to pay for a tow truck to get this thing towed here. And it, it turns out it wasn't such a big deal after all. And it, it wasn't any of that nonsense that I was working on. At least I don't think it is. It was completely unrelated and somewhat coincidental. So right here on that terminal the post that comes off the battery between it and the terminal clamp there is a bit of corrosion right in there and i never clean that out ever not ever i cleaned this whole thing off and i cleaned all these things and made everything nice and great and contact wise but i never cleaned in between those two that's where the issue was this whole time there was just so much corrosion that built up and then all of a sudden it was just thrown really low voltage and erratic voltage back here and it was giving me all that issue. That's all it was, guys. So I guess I'm keeping the van after all. <laughs> I love this van. 
And as much as I would like to get one of those one day, um, I really do like my van. And um, yeah, I'm hoping it lasts me a little while so that I can pay off my bills and uh, figure out what's next. It's probably gonna be van life, I'm pretty sure. At least that's what I wanna do. I love it. I love van life, you guys. Um, and I like those things. Anyway, I'm gonna clean up that ruckus and go get a shower. Cause I can drive again. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. I'm trying to be quiet cause I'm in Walmart parking lot and all these guys are all sleeping. I haven't been here in a little while. Oh, today is a brand new day. Oh man, I'm tired. I was so jacked up last night from that whole, what do I want to call that? Fiasco. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. Shot to Walmart last night. Uh, I wasn't planning on being here, but that whole fiasco last night. Wow, man. That was something. I'm so glad I got that sorted out. All it cost me was 60 bucks to get it towed here. At least I learned. Like, I love learning stuff, man. I, and when you learn stuff the hard way like that, you really remember. <laughs> Uh, usually, anyway. <laughs> Sometimes it doesn't quite set in right. You've got to learn it the hard way again, but anyway. Um, yeah. Oh. oh, I'm tired though, man. I think I only slept four hours. I was up pretty late. Um, I was just pretty wired after that. I had a lot of energy. It was probably adrenaline and Everything else. Everything else. I'll probably have a nap. I'm at the dump again. This time I've got uh, my passenger seat. I'm just going to try and recycle this here for the metal. And then um, I kept the foam because it's in better shape than the stuff on the driver's seat. And I thought maybe I could switch it over to this stuff. So I might end up doing that with it actually, but uh, yeah, it's been a slice. Just what it is. Hey, how's it going? How do you? Pretty good. better. <laughs> uh, customizations. So now I'm perplexed and wondering about those wires and that electrical issue. It seems how it's just this corroded terminal on the battery. I'm like, maybe I don't need that little seatbelt thing connected down, down there, right there. I'll see about disconnecting that and then that weird ground wire that I threw across there. But you know, when you run into making changes on the van and it just sort of stops working. Oh, wow. You're just like, oh no, what did I do? I just created a huge problem for myself. And some electrical guy's gonna be like. Anyway. Uh, I thought I knew what I was doing, but still, kind of, it, it, it's just humbling. That's all it is. Lessons. Maybe I should slow down a bit. Some of these things. <laughs> 